Okay, this tutorial will show you how to um, put Google Analytics onto your Google site. Uh, Google Analytics allows you to look at your visits and uh, specifically talking sports sites or something like that. There's no reason to keep doing them if you're not getting visits. So here I'm in a day view. I can go to a week view. Uh, you can also do a month view, but it just tracks your visits. So, you know, in April during track season, this is for a track blog I did. Uh, you can see I was getting 262 visits a month, um, so so that makes it worthwhile for me to continue to update uh, that blog. But let's look how to put this um, functionality into your Google site. The first thing you want to do is make sure you're logged into your Google account. Uh, once you've done that, you can go to Google and do a search for Google Analytics. It'll take you here. Let's click on that first one and the screen it brings us to is you guys if you haven't used analytics before you need to sign up now and it brings you this all you'll be asked to do is re-enter your password um, for your Google account once you've done this once you don't need to do it again I already have an account so I just go to access analytics okay so once I get into analytics and, and you guys will get to a similar here you want to find um, the button that says add new profile so go ahead and add the profile and what they're going to ask you for is the URL address of the Google site that you'd like to track so I have mine up here this is a site I've been working on for my classes um, I can just do a control C to copy that and then come back here and put it in here now if you do do a, a copy and paste, you want to take out this HTTP, otherwise it won't work. So I'm going to delete that out. Go ahead and make sure you're on the right um, time zone. Say finish. Now in Blogger, you used to have to grab this code and go in the HTML, but with um, with Google Sites, it's it's very easy. We we can actually skip this and say finish. and then we get to this um, setting. Now what you're going to need to make it functional in your Google site is this UA number. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that, do a control C again to copy it, and then you want to go to your Google um, site that you want to work with. So under site settings you go to other stuff and one of the options you're going to get is to enable analytics on this particular site. So you can see I already have one in there, but I'm going to actually delete that out and put in this new one that I have. Okay, so, so all you do is go to statistics, tick that box, and then paste in that UA number. Always make sure you save your changes. And then it's done. Return to site. Okay, now your analytics won't show up right away that it's working, but don't worry about this uh, tracking not installed. Give it about a day and then come back to your Google Analytics account and it should have this check mark box that says uh, receiving data. Um, so again, give it a day before this will actually change. And then once you've kind of had this set up, it should show up in your um, my account here and it doesn't look like it is for me so I'll need to add that in. But it should start, when you start using it, it should start showing up right here with all the other uh, products that I use. But Hopefully that will help you to get up and running with Google Analytics and make all that work worthwhile. You can track uh, what you're doing.